The ski season is upon us and 360 cameras are the best way to capture all the action on the slopes. In this video, I'm gonna look at the pros and cons of the Insta360 helmet mount and wrist mount for skiing. The bundle that I bought for skiing was the Insta360 climb bundle, which came with a selfie stick, with a wrist mount and with a helmet mount and with the adapter to adapt the mount to fit your Insta360 ONE X camera. The official Insta360 snow bundle comes with two adhesive mounts for your helmet, an extension arm, a chest mount, a pole mount, as well as a selfie stick. I didn't buy the official snow bundle because I didn't think it was as good as the option I chose. In the past, I have had adhesive mounts fall off of skis and fall off of helmets, and I think if you add an extension arm onto the adhesive mount as well, which gives it more leverage, then I think that the chance of it falling off is a lot higher. I already had the chest mount, but I know from my experience using it with biking that it actually gives you a very enclosed perspective and doesn't take advantage of the full 360 nature of the camera. The Insta360 wrist mount that comes with the climb bundle is really well made and it comes with a quarter inch thread adapter so you can easily screw your camera straight onto the mount. Using this adapter you can also convert all your existing GoPro mounts as well to fit the One X. You can rotate the camera easily on this mount as well so you can adjust where the stitch line lands. I actually adjusted it so the stitch line was landing across my arm and even on the closer shots the stitch line does look pretty good. Compared to the helmet mount, the wrist mount does give you the impression that it's moving quite a bit and it is on your arm after all and you do get this strange perspective when your arm gets closer and further away from your body and it gives you a huge giant shoulder. My shoulder is not that big in real life. If you've looked at my Instagram feed you know that I'm a big fan of Tiny Planet shots but on the slopes with the wrist mount the Tiny Planet shots in video in particular do look a bit gimmicky but it does give you another view if that's what you like. The wrist mount as I've mentioned in my bike mounting video does give you a really good perspective and I think it's a very undervalued mount that gives you lots of options in different directions. You can focus on your skis, you can focus on your hands, you can focus on your face, you can have a full body shot and it can look in different directions and even with no selfie stick it does give you that third person point of view like there is a cameraman following you. You can easily reframe the footage to get a point of view shot or you can reframe it to get the action going on behind you to the side of you and this can easily be done in the app or in the Insta360 Studio software. In terms of how practical the camera is on the wrist mount it does feel like it's out of the way but it's easily accessible and you can see if the camera's recording and you can easily change the menu settings. It stands double the height of an ordinary gun GoPro camera so it does stick out so if you're carrying your skis or you're surrounded by other people that are carrying their skis then I would just slip the pouch over the top of the camera to protect it. Whilst I'm not a big fan of the Tiny Planet video for skiing with the wrist mount I do think that it gives you some great photo opportunities for selfies or for group shots. The Insta360 helmet mount with the climb bundle goes over the top of your helmet and then attaches underneath your chin to make it secure. Now I can't show you this mount because I annoyingly lost mine on my last skiing trip, but it does look similar to this mount with the addition of a chin strap underneath. The perspective with the helmet mount is very different. You don't get the variety of shots that you do with the wrist mount, but you do get the perfect position for 360 filming. I've shot a lot of skiing stuff over the years with a standard GoPro camera on a helmet and I've always been disappointed. You're either way too far away from the action or the action just doesn't happen in front of the camera. With the helmet mount combined with the Insta360 ONE X camera, you see everything that goes on around you and you just simply reframe to where the action is, either on the app or in the Insta360 Studio software. You can track someone overtaking you or you can just reframe behind you just for a different perspective. And the viewfinder mode in the Insta360 ONE X app is really cool because you can just sit in a chair and spin around and follow the action. The main major disadvantage with the helmet mount is that whilst you can get really great shots of everything around you in 360, the shot of you actually skiing is not very good. Maybe you're not very good, Richie. <laughs> no, well maybe. With this shot from this perspective, you just have this huge head that bobbles around and you have tiny skis and tiny legs and you can't see your face at all. And this is, I suppose, the advantage in getting the snow bundle because it does come with this extension arm. So the extension arm will take the camera away from your body and, and, it would, and away from the helmet and it will just give you more options in terms of different shots. And the further you take the camera away from the surface of where it's mounted, 
the more effective that flying type camera shot looks and also it will improve the stitch line at the base of the camera. But remember, the longer the arm on the camera, the more chance of the camera working its way loose and just moving around. The helmet mount keeps the camera well out of the way when you're in a gondola or when you're in a queue surrounded by people. But where it is vulnerable is when you're on a chairlift because the chairlift bar, as you bring it over your head, can easily knock into the camera. And of course, this would be even more vulnerable if you had an extension arm on the camera as well. I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know in the comments what mounts you use for skiing and share a link to any 360 videos that you've shot on the slopes. My name is Rich from Eat Sleep 360. Please remember to subscribe for weekly 360 hints and tips, and I'll see you on the next video.